All right, this is Virtuoso Lesson 50 with Bernard Kitchens, and it is Groundhog's Day, February 2nd, 2015. And um, let's actually begin with doing all of the scales. And uh, let's do them in blocks. And let's not do them in order. Let's start with the green block. And so the green block has how many black notes? Green block has all five. And so what you need to know is the white note pattern, correct? Yes. Okay. Okay, so the first one we're going to start with is what? Green. Nope. Yellow green. Yeah, and what's the white note pattern? It is left, left. All right. Play away. Wait, is this the one where I started my thumb? Yes. Okay. Very important to remember. So we got to start nailing down all of the particulars on this. So go ahead. And remember what you said the rule was. The rule was left left. Okay. So. Ah, no, no, no. Wait, wait, la, 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 la. Thumbs on white notes. Right? Thumbs on white notes. Oh, Thumbs on white notes. Left, left. Nothing more to it. Mm -hmm. All black notes. Got to get a fourth finger. You got to can't run out of fingers. I know what's okay. So I know with the work that we did on the other scales last week. You just do the blocking first of all. Thumbs, thumb. Now the two black set. Do the blocking for it, because you got all five black notes. Hit it. White note. Blocking. Okay. White note. And back. And block. Uh huh. Uh huh. There you go. And white note. Thumbs. And now play it. And again. And again. What's after yellow green? Green. What's the pattern? It's left, right. All right. Remember your blocking. Okay. Sorry, so I gotta be over. Yeah. And again. And blue green. White note, white, white note pattern is? Um, right, right. Okay. Start on. What's that pattern again? It's right, right. Thank you. 
coming back. Yeah, I'm mixing it up. Yellow green. What's the white note pattern? Green is uh, left leg. Okay. Okay, green. Songs. Let's go to uh, song 17, which is in book four, lesson four. And, and make sure you count loud. Do that measure again, measure three right there. Don't stop. Keep it going. You got that constant powder to get in the left hand. You got it, you got it. Keep going. Next line. Keep going. Keep that constant pattern going. Keep it going. Keep it going. No, right hand starts, left hand starts by itself in that next measure. What's that last chord? Yeah, let's do those last two measures again, just to get them back up to speed.
Last four notes in the right hand with the left hand. With the last four, last four in the right hand, yeah. Like oh, the right chords. There. Yeah. With the left hand. Last four in the left hand? Yeah, with the left hand. Both hands together. Those last four. Last half of the measure. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Those last two measures again. Last two measures. Okay, stop for a second. Stop for a second. So, in that second measure, those two yellow notes in the right hand, believe it or not, the same note is what's throwing you. Sometimes it's hard to pick up and play the exact same note. You just got to be willing to pick the hand up and play it. Try it again. Last two measures. Let's try one more time and see if we can duplicate that. That was great. Do that last measure again. What's that? Oh, no. okay. Gotta play that yellow green note in the right hand. You're consistently missing that one. So I want you to work on that and get it right a couple times. It's the same note in each hand. Yellow green and yellow green. together. One more. Last two measures again. Nice. 
One more time. Again. Again. Now, nope. get rid of the hesitation. Good. Let's play the first five scales. And what's unique about them? Um, wait, red scale, all white notes. What else? The, the first five. What, is, uh, what, what, what's uh, unique? Five? Again, what's unique about the first five? Say that again. Sorry. What's unique about the first five? All five of them. Wait. I can't hear you. Okay, sorry. Uh -oh. It's all right. What's Hard. unique about all the first five scales? Every one of them. Fingers the same. Yep. Okay, so go for it. Okay, keep going. Next one. Just jump right to it. You don't even have to say anything. Just play them. Just remember the three, the one, two, three, four black notes. Just always keep that in the back of your mind. Next, next. Let's do them all again, all five. Think about where you're at. Let's do the red orange scale. Yellow orange. Red orange. Yellow orange. Red orange. Yellow orange.
orange. Yellow. Red orange. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> you got it. Just think about it. Greens. Okay, hang on a second. The only thing about the greens is you got to get the white notes, and it's all five, right? So there's there, there's just no question about it. It's just all five with the correct white note pattern. That's all you got to know. What's the white note pattern on this? Right, right. Okay. Obviously, we're going out of order, and definitely that's making you think a little more because you're you're losing one aspect, which is the pattern of going in order. There's no doubt that throws a wrench into things, but I'm just wanting you to realize that you can you can answer yourself a question to start with. Whatever scale I say, you you say to yourself, what group is it? Is it the first five? Is it the green block or the last four? So you gotta know. We haven't touched the last four yet. 
So you just need to know and, and know what, what's peculiar about or what's interesting or the whatever it is, the, the, the most relevant feature of those groups. That's all you got to know. So uh, red orange. Blue green. Last note. Good. Do it again. song again. Song 17.
Keep going. Good. Let's do those last two lines again. That was really nice, though. Hey, by the way, say, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Play really heavy-handed. your volume and play the orange scale and just go slightly slower just so I can see <laughs> yellow no nope. go again nope. red orange green yellow orange Yellow green. Good, yellow. Let's turn up the volume again and let's play the song all the way through again. That was really good. Way improved.
Good. That was awesome. That was really good. All right. Um, let's play the blue scale. Uh, right hand fingers on those last two were off. Yeah. But otherwise, good. Let's do it again. No, 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 no. Okay, so again, it's the fourth fingers in the left hand. You just, it's a different crossover pattern. That's what's unique about these next group of four. It's the left hand that's completely different. So watch out for that. You had it right the first time. I just wanted you to realize what you're doing wait wait okay. go ahead no no that left hand again this one. Yeah, you're getting it, then you're not getting it. So that's why I want you to play it just a few times to get consistency. You got it? Nice. Let's go to Blue Violet. Threes and fours in the middle. Fours. Threes and fours. You got it. You got it. Yes. Yes. Just play it. Finish it out. Thumb in the left. Thumb in the left. Thumb in the left. Yeah. Because you can't have a fifth finger. Ah, you missed it there. Try it again. Just so remember, it's threes and fours in the middle is what's unique about this one. Threes, threes started, threes on the ends, threes and fours in the middle. Okay. Oh, right, got to start and begin in the same note. Threes and fours, you just block it. It's three and four. Just cover both notes and you're good. If you got three and four on those two notes, you can't miss. On these two, right? On the two black notes, yeah. Threes and fours. Not two and three, three and four. In both hands. Three and that's four, right? No. On the three black set, you've got the third and fourth finger. You don't have the fourth finger in your right hand on that note. Threes and fours. 
Wait, wait, say that again. Put your third and fourth finger on those two black notes of the three black set. Nope, third don't move your hand. Nope, nope, go back to the three black. There, right there. Put your third and fourth finger down in the right hand. Right hand third. only. Third. Third and fourth, fourth finger, not your second third. finger. Fourth. Now put third. your third and fourth finger down in the left hand on those same two notes. Hold them both down at the same time. Nope. Same two notes in the left hand, not different notes. Same two notes. Wait, isn't the second and third? Nope. Because it's a different pattern in the left hand. That's what's unique about these groups. They don't mirror each other. Three and four. Three and four in the left hand. Go ahead and do it. Just don't okay. even think about it. Three. Wait, three and four? Yes. Four. Three and four. That's it. And three and four in the right. Go ahead and put them down just so you see it. Look at it. That's it. Okay. That's what's unique about this scale. Oh, okay. okay, let me go to the thumb. Mm -hmm. And remember, one and twos. You're always playing one and two at the same time where if it's second finger and left hand, thumb in the right. Thumb in the left, second finger in the right hand. Everything is symmetrical around the same two fingers, whatever they are. Huh? Wait, so from here do I go straight to the thumb? That's nope. why, right? That, that you're not going to play any finger. The only finger you'll ever play at the same time is the third finger at the very start. Other than that, if you play your second finger in the left hand, it's going to be thumb in your right hand. So go to your thumb in the right hand. Thumb in the right hand. With your second, thumb. yeah, and second finger in the left. See, there's your two and your one. Now you're going to play two and one with the next two fingers. Two and one. See? Now three and four. Three against four, four against three. Uh-huh. Now one and two. Now one and two. And then threes again. Yep. Threes and fours. Threes and fours. Threes and fours. Nope. Threes and fours. Threes and fours. Yep. Okay. Do it yep. Just just realize a second. I, I really want you to think this through. You've had this before, and just realize that. I understand how you can lose it, because that happens all the time. So you just got to rebuild it and realize that it's the left-hand crossover pattern that busts everything you've done before. The right hand is consistent. Mm -hmm. Yep, you got it. Yep. Yep. Wait. Two's and one. One and two. One and two. Yeah, one and two. two. You see, you ju you bypassed it. You, you used your both. No. Okay, wait. So it's still here. You can't. Just remember, you can't okay. play no thumbs at the same time. No thumbs. If you try to, that's where you'll make a mistake more most commonly. Is trying to play the two thumbs. That's it. with your eyes closed. Good. Uh, uh, is it open again? Back to the blue scale.
Nice. Back to blue violet. And let's just go back and forth for a few times between those two. So that shows me right there that you clearly still know it and you just had a, a mental glitch there for a minute because if you didn't know it, you wouldn't be able to play it so smoothly so quickly. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of uh, losing your frame of reference and, and it happens to almost everyone. So no big deal. Let's go with Violet. Okay, Violet. So what's unique about this one? Um, violet is... Well, I'll tell you. It's threes against fours. That's it. Threes against fours. Both times. Um, Not. Nah. On black notes, threes against oh, fours. Oh, that's right, that's right. Okay, got you. Mm-hmm. There. Mm-hmm. Four. Mm -hmm. So obvious. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Start. Okay. Don't. If you if you question again, just stop and let me walk you through it because I want to be able to explain the logic when you get stuck. It'll help. Okay. In case that happens again. Which finger would come naturally? You're, you're, in the right hand, you're not going to skip your third finger, correct? No. So that must mean that it's going to be fourth in the left hand. That's how you look at it, is which finger is coming naturally in which hand. Okay, and then you just... And then you just, obviously, then you know what the other one is. That, that's the question you ask yourself. Three against four. Yes. Which one's coming naturally? Four, right, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this one's easier to deduce, but it feels awkward. That's what makes it kind of challenging up front. Let's go back to blue. Wait, uh, what's the right hand? See now, remember on the right hand, the right hand always has the consistent pattern of two, three, four on the three black set and two and three on the two black set. That never changes on any of the scales, right? Okay. For the right hand only. For the right hand only. It's the left hand that breaks that pattern.
good. Back to Blue Violet. Nice. And Violet. All right, let's do Red Violet, see if you remember that one. And it's a white note, so it's going to start off normal, like a white note should. Yes, yes, thumbs. Got a black note, right? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be able to get to your thumbs at the end. So, and it, this is the the funny thing is, yes, you can use a fifth finger in the left hand, but if you choose to start with both thumbs, and you know that thumbs always play together, if you choose to start with both thumbs, you'll do have a better shot at it. Both thumbs. Yep. And so thumbs always play together, makes it really easy. And then we go, we go straight to three, right? No. Right. I need to go to four to get that. Exactly. Thing. Right. Okay, so we go. Remember, you got to get to thumbs, so don't run out of fingers. Make sure. That's what you got to think through when you're coming down is how do I get to my thumb? Again. One more. Good. Let's run through all four again, starting with blue. And just go in order from blue. clean one. What'd you do on that one? I don't know if you got it right. I couldn't tell, but it looked like something was funky. Which finger is on that black note? The right hand. Which finger is on the black note? Right it's got it's the because it's the three black set. And which finger is always on that note? Four. Okay. Four. 
Try it again. Sometimes I can't see through the image to tell which finger, but mostly. Turn off the volume. Turn off? Yep. I mean, yeah, turn the volume all the way off. Let's go through all 12. So start with red, and as soon as you get your hand set, close your eyes. Okay, open and switch to red orange. Close your eyes and go for it. Okay, next one. Do the same thing. Nice. Next one. Try again. How many black notes on this one? This is three. Okay. Cool. Next one is what? Okay. Hello. Okay. Good. That takes care of the first five block. What's next? Yellow green. Yep. Okay, get set. And again, no, no eyes. What fingers do you start with? Think about it. You're on the green set. Okay. Close your eyes when you're ready. Yeah, start again. What's the white note pattern? It's right, left, left. Okay, make sure you're doing that. Yeah, you gotta, I know I'm asking you to do it with your eyes closed and you haven't done that, but feel it. Nice, what's next? Green. Okay. What's the white note pattern? It's left, right. Okay. Cool. What's next? Um, blue green. Okay. What's the white note pattern? It's right, right. Okay. You got it. it. Okay. That takes care of the green block. So we're down to the last four, which we were just okay. doing. So what's next? Blue. Okay, close your eyes. That's okay. It's all right. These are newer. I know. Nice. What's next? Blue violet. Okay.
Way to stick with it. Next one. Is Violet. Okay. Violet has the Symmetry 4 thing. Sorry. Mm-hmm. You got it. Nice. What's next? Um, we just did it. It's red violet. Okay. Actually had it right. You just got stuck. Correct if you can. Now yeah, try again. Part of it is momentum. If you start, if if you. If you pause too long, sometimes you lose your place. Nice. All right. Um, go ahead and turn the volume back up. That was awesome. I think that does prove that you know the scales. <laughs> uh, let's do the circle of fifths pattern, starting with red in the left hand and go hand over hand all the way to the top of the keyboard. So we're going around the color circle. So I got to get ready. So two in each hand, yep. Okay. And say the color names as you're going. All right. So there you go. Red, red, orange, orange, yellow, 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 green, green. Good. Let's uh, do it again from the top down. Okay, so we go. And go, you're, now you're going right. counterclockwise. So we're we going red from red to red violet. Yes. Okay. All right. So we go. So start with my right hand. Yep. Okay. So we go red, red violet, violet, blue violet. Let's turn the volume off and do it again. Not that it would make that much difference, but just to prove the point. So we go red, red violet, violet, blue violet, blue, blue green, green, yellow green, yellow, yellow orange, orange, red orange, red. Good. Um, turn the volume back up. And let's play through song 17 again.
your rhythm. Jump in, go. Play the last two measures again. Don't think about it, just play them. So sometimes you play that yellow green note as a yellow orange note and if you do it's not going to sound dissonant but it's going to completely deaden the ending because it's as if you jump to the end too soon that's the harmony of it just pointing that out and i don't know if you noticed it um i felt it i felt i sometimes i feel like i'm because i went where'd i go i went back here right yeah. Okay. So anyway, um, so now I'll turn the volume off, and let's play the song again. Okay. <laughs> and this will be doubly hard for me, because it's hard to see both hands at the same time. Both hands. One, and two, and three, and four, and one. Start that measure again. I, I okay. That was great. I only counted one mistake that I saw. Yep. Or was it just so I can. Uh, it was in the third major, as far as I can tell. Uh, and I'm not saying I caught that I might have missed another one, but that's the only one I know for yeah, sure. I, I think I went back to the yellow note instead of. The um, one. but that was awesome. Did you hear it? Yeah. It sounded like sometimes your count started to hint of being melodic and that it would go back to monotone, but it sure sounded like it to me. That's very interesting.
let's keep the volume off. Um, just because we're dealing with like the 50th lesson, I just want to take account of what you can do, what is possible right now with your skill set. So let's um, let's go into lesson four since we're already in there, and let's pull up exercise one and let's learn a new hand position. Lesson four, exercise one. Mm -hmm. And I want you to tell me what hand position this is going to be once you get it up. Yeah. So what's the name of the hand position? Yellow. Yeah. yeah. All right. So let's run it with both hands. And again, don't go too fast, um, just so I can keep up, because it definitely takes more for me to see it. But let's run it all the way. Both hands play in the same line. Go through the whole page. One. Oh, you don't have to count. Just play. Yeah, 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 you got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and starting at this line, go ahead and count. That way for anybody, including myself, that's paying attention, it guarantees that everybody knows where you're at in the measure in case you make a mistake and you hit the same note again. Okay. So we go one and... No, just, just one, two, three, four on this. That's all. One, two, three, four. That was awesome. Let's do the last line backwards. Last line for last two lines forward. Nice. You ever seen this page before? No. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Let's go to exercise two. So in theory, you've seen exercise two before because it's the chord page. Yeah. yeah. But still new hand position. And what's really unique about this one and why going silent is relevant is that you've got two black notes for the first time. So even though you've seen the patterns... The physiology of the patterns is quite a bit different 
having those two black notes. Nothing is going to feel exactly the same. Um, oh, la, 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 la. Let's just play right hand by itself. Okay. Actually, turn. let's not. Let's do both hands, but go ahead and turn up the volume because this one's going to be just too complex to really do without the volume. Yeah, turn it, go ahead and turn it up. Okay. Both hands. Line one. What's that one? Mm-hmm. Let's go down to third line from the bottom, which once you get back into the pattern, I want you to just play indefinitely until you get the speed up on it. Third line from the bottom? Yeah. Nope, 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 nope. Now, what's that first one? Third line from the bottom. Just two notes. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's what I thought might be happening. <laughs> it's okay. okay. No there worries. Okay. Yeah, it's just that two note pattern. But if, but again, and you can look at your hands if you if you have it memorized. Again, what's funky is that this is the first time you've had unique black and white combinations, specifically with your second and fourth fingers. That's not occurred before, so that's going to make this a little more challenging. And faster. Yeah, really pound it out though. I mean, hit the notes hard. And then get up speed. But this, the strength, again, you're just trying to shape your hands, the muscle movements at this point. Next line, and again, this is going to be more challenging because you have never had a black note involved in this pattern yet, so that's going to make it more interesting. You better play the last line twice through without a mistake. Last line twice through, no mistake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. Slow it down and give yourself a chance.
nice. All right, let's go on to exercise three. Very good. And we're going to get through this page really quickly because you can. <laughs> All right, exercise three. And again, um, let's turn off the volume. And I want you to count out loud. So uh, uh, what's unique about it, and maybe makes it harder, maybe it doesn't, is this 5 eighths note, which is the half tied to an eighth note, or the eighth tied to a half. And if you look, let me just point out one that barely shows itself, which is on the third line from the bottom, that second pair of notes is an eighth tied to a half. You see that? On the third line from the bottom? First oh, measure. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's just cool. barely visible, but that is a tie. So anyway, let's start at the top, count out loud, go for it. One and two and three. Now, both hands though, both hands, same thing. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Keep going, go. Four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. No, no, almost. That was really good, though. You made it a long way without a mistake. That was great. Keep going. And so we keep going. One and two. Oh, wait, uh, one don't slow down. And two and three and four and one and one and two. One and two and. No, no. Nope, nope. Try again. Uh -huh. And two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and no one and two and uh, so watch that measure again. Watch your notes. Doing great. Nice. One and two. One and two. Don't, don't slow your countdown, though. Just roll with it. One and two and three and four and one and two. One. Don't slow down. One.
You had it, yeah. Just keep your count going. Be confident with your count. You'll get it. One and two and three and four. <laughs> yes, yeah, that was good. Good. Keep going. Stop though. Again, don't stop your count. Either get the note or you don't. Go again. One and two and three. No. Nope. Go again. Nope. Watch that tie note. One and two and three and four and one. Good. Keep it going. One. Whoa. Don't slow down. Don't just. One and. Don't one slow down. And two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and. Nope. Nah. That's a three. One and two and. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Matt, and what was that one again? Wait, it's a dotted. Oh, it's a dotted quarter. One and two. One and two and three and four and one and two. was really good so I'm assuming you haven't seen that page before either <laughs> I know you have it I was okay. just oh. making commentary let's go to song 18 and Okay. And let's make it a silent movie again. See what happens. It's kind of an interesting song to go silent on. Okay. So, um, let's do, let's still block it like we do. Um, are measures one and two the same? They are almost. Check wait, out, wait. check out the left hand. Ah, uh, I see it. You got the two. Um, yeah, it's the only oh. only difference. Okay, so let's just play measure one and get it down. Okay, so it's gonna be between five and six, right? Mm -hmm. You're there. You got it. Mm-hmm. All right. So we go. And make sure you count one and two and three and four. Nice and slow. A low note, not a high note. So that's this. Okay, so we go. One and no. One and two and three. Ah, uh, is any wait wait. Tell me something. In the right hand, is anything playing on three? No, so it still should still be playing. In the left hand, is anything playing on three? Yes. What? The yellow orange. Wait, wait. That yellow orange note that's a half oh, note. Oh, five. Okay. Yeah. I didn't, I just, so okay. nothing's playing on three. But it's two different tie. It's two different types of tied notes that are going past the count of three, which is interesting. So try again. One and two and three and four. 
one and two and three and four. No. Nope. Go again. Go again. Jump right in. Don't think about two. One and two and three and four. Wrong note, but good. Got the rhythm. Let's do it again. One and two and three and four and Yeah, just keep repeating it a few times. Jump right in. One and nope. Again, rhythm. One. Doing it. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And Let's do measure two, which is almost the same. One and two and three and four. And Good. Let's do measures one and two back to back. Good. So tell me something. Does measure two or do measure, yeah, does measure two and measure six have the exact same rhythm? Measure two and measure six. It looks like they do. It's okay. Different. different notes, but same rhythm. Let's play measure six. And what's that right hand note? Different this time. Oh, oh that mm -hmm. note. Okay. okay. Go ahead. So it's here we go. One and two and three and four and good again. Nice. Here we go. One And again. One more time. Let's do measures five and six back to back. Don't think too much, just jump in. One and two and three and four and one and uh, yeah 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 keep it going. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Nice. Let's do measures one and two. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Measures five and six. Nice. Let's do measure three. And I want you to tell me what notes in the left and right hand play at the same time. Okay, so the blue and the yellow play at the same time. So that's, describe it by the beat, counting number. Uh, beat one. Okay, what else? And 
That's it. That's it. Good. All I gotta do is count it. Okay. It's funky note combina. It's funky pitch combinations. So that's the only thing that's interesting about it. But you're not listening to it. So how do you know it's funky? <laughs> okay. Go for it. One and two and three and four and good again. And so I, the, the point is, you need to be able to get comfortable. This is definitely something that you don't want to slow down on because you want to you want you want to feel. You want to know how your hands feel throughout the measure playing them. So we go one. Nope, again. Uh, crap. <laughs> one, one, and two, and three. Okay, so this, okay, so just think about this. Something plays on one, and two, and three. Those first five counts, something plays on. And then you have a pause. Okay? What's that three? What note is that? Three? Okay, go again. Try not to pause. One and two and three and four and... Yeah, again, try to even count more monotone because it's like you're, you're going three, like you're almost asking a question. Am I really right on this note? Just hit it out. Okay. One and two. And yep. Just keep doing it until it'll come fluid. It's okay. One and two and three. Yeah, so again, see that like, again that three is dragged out. Okay. You just gotta hit that three. Three is just oh. Yeah, it's just by itself. Yep, go again. And one thing not to lose sight of is in the left hand, those are four quarter notes. They're just hitting on the numbers. Think about that. That it just it only looks like it's funky because of the way the right hand is written with the syncopation. That's it. The left hand is just dead on the numbers. Okay, go ahead. All right. One and two and three and four. Good. One more time. Something on the first five counting. That's right. Mm -hmm. First five count. There we go. One and two and three. Yep. Got to play on three because you got four quarter notes. Think about it. One and two and three and four. Again, good. Again. One and two and three and four. And Good. One more time. One and two and three and four. And Good. Let's look at measure four. Again, you have four quarter notes in the left hand, right? Yes. When so when do they play together? On uh, what counts? Just the one before. That's it. Good. So something's playing on every count, though. Okay. On every counting word. But they only play together beats one and four, so that kind of makes it ping pong back and forth pretty easily. So, go yeah. for it. All right. So we go. All right. So we go. One and two and three and four and 
Oh. Nice. Perfect. Again. That was nice. One and two and three and four, four and two. Good. Let's do three and four back to back. One, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four, four and nice. Four. Let's do all of line one. That was great. That was really good. Let's do it again. See if you can get rid of the hesitations. That was that was good though. Watch your count, watch your count. One and two and three. Keep it going. Four. And Good. How do you know you're getting the right notes? Um, it's weird. I feel it like it's like a like a micro click after I hit the wrong key. I'll I'll remember what. But that, it's that's... pretty wild that you're doing it without hearing it. Yeah. I mean, because that was perfect, and every time I mean, you every time yeah. you make a mistake, now you're catching it, which is incredible. Yeah. I feel it because I feel I, I mean I feel where it's supposed to be, but sometimes because I guess because it's a new hand position and yeah I don't know whatever the four five are close I'm like <laughs> I was gonna be, I was switching switching around so I'm like oh that's wrong and then I'll you know so I will just all right say. let's look at um, measure seven third measure of line two and what are the only two places that are playing together between the two hands. Beats one and two. Yep. And there's, again, something playing on every counting word. And notice that beats one and two, when they play together, are the exact same two combinations of notes each time. And that throws people, but I'm just pointing that out. Okay? So let's play it. All right. So one and two and three. Three. Something's playing on every count. Something okay. is. Okay. Yep. Orange. Go again. Okay. So go. Two, go. One and two and. Ah, watch that note. Oh, you did have it. Sorry. I read it wrong. It's because I'm not hearing it. <laughs> That's funny. Go again. Okay. One and. That note's. One and two and three and four and good again, nice. One and two and three. Oh, no. mm -hmm. Okay, so stay. Yep. One and two and three. A uh, different note there. It's a, it's a hard one to get. Okay. It's like yep. in the middle between the... Okay. So, one, two, and three, and four, and... Nice. A couple more times. One, and two, and three, three. One, and two, 
You got it. Just keep pushing. Two, three, four. Good. One more. One, two, three, four. Nice. Uh, last measure. What? Where do they play together? Last measure of line two. Yep. One. D one and D four again. Yeah. B one and four, and again, something's playing on every counting word. Yeah, and notice that in the left hand you went from a green note to a green note, and it feels kind of funky to play to just pick up and play the same note. But that's really what's occurring. It yeah. feels odd, even though it's obvious. Try it. One and two. Yeah. Nice again. Go again. Four. Okay. Mm -hmm. One and two and three and four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get rid get rid of your hesitations. It's not that hard. Go again. You got it. No, nope. only on beats four do they play together. By the way, on beat four, you're playing the second finger in each hand. So, another pattern. Go again. Try to get rid of your hesitations. You're doing great. Start again. Start again. Good. Again. Yeah, you're still, I don't know what, those last four notes are just four notes in a row, right? Yes. Yeah, so just that's why I, don't slow down on those. Those are just four notes. I want you to just see that pattern and quit thinking about it. Go for it. You're you're home free once you get to that point. Nice, much better. One more time. Let's do the whole second line. One and two and three and four. Oh. Different notes. Keep going. Yeah. Go. So one. Keep it going. Different note, different note. Three and four and, three and four and. Last four notes, left hand. Three and four and. Okay, three and four. Yeah, wait, three. So three. Three and four. And. Keep going. Okay, and then we, oh, we just learned this. It's one, one, and two, and three, and four, four, and 
Good. Let's do the first two lines. Run right through it. Try not to stop. Try to keep going. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and one and two and three and four. Again, something's playing on every count. Keep going. Next measure. Go. Play away. Just a bunch of patterns. Nope, start again. There's only one difference in those two chords, so don't overthink it. Start the measure again and see if you can get it in real time. Straight up. Nice. Keep going. Okay, stop. Again, there's only one difference in that chord, right? Those two chords? Right? So it's mostly just reading the left hand. Do that measure again. Jump in, jump in. Okay, hang on a second. Good. Now, let's look at that whole line. Does every chord on that line have the note yellow in it? Yes. So you're only reading one note in the right hand. Only one note. And, the, and literally, it's one of the top three notes in your hand. That's it. Okay? Go to the next, go to the last line and play the left hand only for the first two measures. First two measures. Jump right in. No big deal. One, two. Now one and two and three and four and still. Good. Do it without looking. Just keep playing it. You got the feel for it? Got it? All right. So it's just a pattern. All you've got to do is read the right hand. So put them together. Read the right hand. Know what's coming. Uh -uh. So here's the trick. Don't stop. Keep the rhythm going. You're looking ahead. You're not thinking about that left hand. Thinking about the right hand only. Watch your right hand notes, though. Yep, go again. Okay. Okay. Yep. Keep doing it. Good. Go again. Get your notes right. Do it a few times so you get your notes right. 
really play that right hand more animated because I can't. I'm having a hard time seeing which fingers are depressing. So really animate that right hand. Go ahead. Wait, wait. Are you playing a note to begin with? There you go. Okay. Okay. Which note's playing first? Wait, wait. What's the first note in the right? There you go. Okay, okay. Go ahead. What's the note? There you go. Okay. Okay, because I have to be able to get back there. Yep. That's right. That's right. Ah, second finger. It's you gotta get that second finger on that first note every time. Yep. Okay. Go ahead. Again. Good. Let's do the third measure of the last line. Play those two chords in the right hand. Mm -hmm. Good. They're just four notes apart, right? So if you can sort of memorize that and focus on the left hand, got a pretty good shot of making it straight out. Okay. Play it together. Keep going. Up to the end? Yeah, finish it out. Oh. Good. Last two measures again. Good. Let's play the whole song through from the top. That was awesome. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. Go again. Right there. Same measure. Go, go, go. Good. Remember, this is easy. Go, hit it. You got it. You only got one note to think about in the right hand. Only one note. Only one note to think about. The top note is the only note that matters. Play that line again. Play that line one more time. You only have to read the top note because you're always playing the thumb. Go again. Okay? Hit it. 
Go, go, go. Got it. One note. Keep going, you got it. Don't stop that left hand. Good. Keep going. Nice. All right. So that was a that was really playing the song quite well. I mean, very few mistakes, very few hesitations for a brand new song in a brand new hand position. So last thing. I want you to play it one more time with the volume on. And whatever you do, don't let your ears fool you. You've played this song. There is a fair amount of, amount of dissonance in this song. Don't let your, don't even question whether or not you have the note right or wrong based on what you're hearing. Oh, use, use exactly the same mindset that you just did to play it because you're reading the notes and let your intellect guide you, not your ears, okay? Because more than likely you're gonna play the right notes and even if it sounds dissonant, it's gonna sound good, okay? <laughs> Keep going. Watch that rest, watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm. Go again, right there, jump in. Watch that. You're playing it. Start it again. Make sure you're playing a green note in the left hand. Go again. Start that line again. Go. Three. 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 Just play. Just keep playing. Whatever. Jump in and play. Awesome. Did that feel like uh, kind of like a blind man 
getting your sight for the first time? Yeah, it's like I could hear it, but then it, once I started, it started to, but then the dissonance thing did kind of throw me in the beginning. I was like, okay, <laughs> this sounds off. Yeah, that was so interesting. And just to watch your reactions, I could see your face part of the time, and it was just, what well, I just seen. Uh, how you're reacting was pretty wild. So let's think about this. This is um, lesson 5051. So that's 51 total hours spent. And you can learn a song without hearing it in the key of A major, which is three sharps, no less, after 51 hours. And you know all of your scales, both hands, uh, without hearing them, with the correct fingering. That's amazing. After 51 hours. You can play through the circle of fists, up and down the entire keyboard, so you understand it. Um, it's just, and this is your 18th song, period. And, you know, you can basically learn a song straight away. I mean, this one you learned in 30 minutes. 30, no, 40 minutes. Not quite. 38 minutes, somewhere around in there. That's astounding, without hearing it. So... That's just a lot of stuff. It's just absolutely amazing. So, um, you, sh <laughs> you should be impressed with yourself. I mean, that's just amazing. That's all I can say. And I've never done that before. Um, I've never actually had somebody learn a song. Um, and so I've had done lots of other things without the volume, but never actually learning a song from scratch. So you pioneered that one. That's pretty amazing. Nice. All right, so 50, lesson 51, 51 hours, and on Groundhog's Day, no less, 2015, February 2nd, and this is, um, yeah, lesson 50 and 51 with Bernard Kitchens. All right, we'll leave it at that.